Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 1st, 2023. Well, we had quite a day yesterday with those bulls really excited. We'll take a look at those index charts here in just a bit. Let's take a look at what's going on around the world. First off, we had Asian markets down mostly across the board yesterday with only Shanghai making a little teeny tiny pop to the upside of 1.96, $1.96 or a 0 0.06 gain over there in Shanghai where the rest of those markets were down due to the fact of China's, Chinese manufacturing uh, slowing. And let's take a look in Europe. Europe, however, this morning is feeling bullish across the board. As a matter of fact, the DAX is up substantially. We're looking for a nice little pop here to begin uh, December 1st, the beginning of uh, Santa Claus season here. And um, mining stocks are doing really, really well this morning. We have... Um, U.S. futures are mostly higher. We've got NASDAQ just ever so slightly lower, while the diamonds and the SPY futures are moving higher here today. Oil prices are just ever so slightly up, um, like $0.08 cents and WTI, $0.06 cents, um, in oil futures. Um, and that is just simply because the uh, OPEC cuts were only 2.2 million barrels a day. So um, that really didn't bother the market at all. So what does all this information mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, my goodness, yesterday, a CRM's move yesterday really inspired the Dow. This is just really pow, rocket ship ride to the upside on its earnings report. And that powered up the diamonds in a big way yesterday. We ended up pushing through our uh, high yesterday and then just really stretching out. In fact, at the end of the day, it was just um, almost nutty to see the chase that was going on in the market. And as you can see, we are just absolutely parabolic in this move. We're just running straight up now in the diamonds and we're also trying to gap up here this morning now we didn't end up with any major whipsaws or anything yesterday but boy i would start watching really closely for that possibility we catch another gap here this morning trying to move to the upside at any point in time we can expect the market to pull back but the party the party is really going on strong no one wants to give it up and so i would not rule out the possibility that we continue to extend um, into the first day of december um, just to kind of finish out this week uh, strong and kind of put a highlight here on the first of the month so keep a close eye on that now if the bulls find that inspiration to continue to push up i've placed another um, area of resistance up here as you can see we've got a little high point right there that we tested a little low point across there and a little high point right there so i placed that price alert right up in there and we'd be coming close into testing those um, um, highs of um, all time here in the diamonds we've got we'll have a ways to go still but as you can see if we can keep that that party going here today that's that next uh, potential area in the chart that we might be watching for um, resistance now if the bears were to find some kind of um, reason to attack today then maybe a pullback to where we looked at yesterday that resistance breakout here we might test in there and of course if that were to fail the uh, potential tumble back down to, to reclaim yesterday's candle 
would be a little bit painful for folks and re um, retest this support level here in the chart. You know, I haven't gone over the moving averages here for a while because we're just so incredibly extended from them. Um, you know, what are you going to say? But we have started to see that 50 day moving average is now starting to turn up. But my goodness, we've got a long way for that to catch up. It is incredibly extended in a parabolic manner away from that diamonds chart. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. SPY struggled a bit yesterday. We had pushed down and we're looking like we were going to uh, finish the day kind of hanging here on this price support. But in the last 30 minutes of the day, um, that big surge in the Dow lifted the um, the SPY back up and we came rallying back and now this morning we're trying to pop a little bit higher. So if those bulls can continue to find that inspiration this morning, perhaps we push back up in here and we test this resistance high in the SPY that um, uh, 2023 high to see whether or not we can break it this time and break through that um, resistance level. If we can, then we're probably looking up here at this next level that I've got marked in the chart. If the bears, however, find that inspiration today and we push back down, once again, not a big hard thing to see, maybe pulling back into here. No one's going to get too worried in the market unless we drop below here. And then we're going to start uh, feeling some pretty uncomfortable situations in the market if that were to occur. If we move on through to our QQQ, QQQ ended up breaking this support intraday and then right at the end of the day, last 30 minutes of the day, we we just came roaring back here in the QQQ, lifting us back up, leaving a hammer pattern behind. But unfortunately, we're not getting a follow through, at least in the pre-market here on that hammer. A um, little bit of pullback happening here in the NASDAQ. We're just testing this support area of the chart. If the bulls continue to find inspiration here, then we're still going to be looking for this area up here as that next price resistance. And if the bears were uh, turned on today for some reason, maybe a push back down to retest that low and then past that, you can see we're coming into these support levels and maybe drifting even into the gap here on um, the QQQ and that pullback. Let's take a look at our Russell IWM. IWM pushing back up, uh, trying to cross back through. Unfortunately, it just wasn't able yesterday to get back above that 200 day. That 200 day is, is laying over. We got a little bit of a pop trying to get going here this morning, trying to push us through there, but we're still struggling in here. Pretty substantial resistance level above that 200 day. We just haven't been able to muster enough energy without the influence of tech um, here in the IWM. It continues to lag sufficiently behind or significantly behind, I should say. Let's take a look at our VIX. Yesterday's big surge to the upside. This was really interesting. While we surged heavily to the upside with seemingly unbelievable confidence in the market, Notice that our VIX really didn't do anything. Um, in fact, it had popped up a little bit with that worry on tech, uh, ended up sliding back down to test and hold this support area here in the chart. So kind of an interesting thing here that we're seeing the market surge, but VIX is not having much response. We are down here in a complacency area, however, and maybe we're just getting a little bit concerned about that area of complacency and this overextension in the market. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122 had pulled back yesterday a little bit and notice with that huge surge that we had in the market, well, we make, made it right back up here to that bearish reversal zone and not quite there. You can see we're at 89.59 at the close, um, over 90, 
90 here puts us in that bearish reversal zone. So what that means is we still have room this morning to try and pop this on higher and we're going to be in that bearish re reversal zone perhaps this morning if we can continue that bullishness pushing back up. I do see a little concern here in this pattern. This is what we call a hockey stick in the air. Hockey stick in the air often means you get penalized uh, and we start that pullback. So I don't know if that happens today or next week it doesn't matter but when uh, we're up here we continue to remain um, just really elevated in t2122 it is coming um, we just don't know when it's going to kick off um, if the bears were to find inspiration well of course we know we've opened a very big opportunity for those bears to push back down maybe fill some of those giant gaps that were left behind in the market Let's take a look at our uh, T2108. You can see in here after that huge massive surge that we saw in the Dow yesterday, T2108 barely ticked higher. Percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. It did break higher, but right up there around 65%, but just wasn't able to push up. And one of the reasons, and I'll show you here in a second, is because there wasn't there wasn't, wasn't as many stocks moving to the upside as everyone would like to think there was, but we had that little pump to the upside. Um, we, it doesn't, um, we're reaching that frothy area here of the market, um, but nothing in here that suggests that the bears are ready to, to take over in any way, shape or form. And even if they do, and we were to pull back from here, We've got support in here on any relief rally, lots of support, so not too much to worry about there. Our uh, T2107 also made a move yesterday. T2107 got with the program a little bit, pushed on up. We didn't quite make it up there. Um, we This 50% area looks like a reasonable target up here. We've got lots of um, resistance up in here showing in that chart, but there's certainly a possibility we could continue to extend that up there around that 50% area with that big lift that we had in the market yesterday. Keeping in mind if the bears were to come in, we've got some nice support levels down in here as well to be watching for in T2107. And then if we take a look at our uh, T2101, this is what I was talking about yesterday, even as we were surging to the upside yesterday um, in the diamonds, Notice that the SPY, the QQQ, IWM languished a little bit here overall and the breadth of the market continued to decline. And now what we ended up seeing by the end of the day, we ended up seeing this hook on the bottom. So there's that hockey stick down on the ice. Hockey stick on the ice often means that we start coming back up. Now the question is going to be, will it come back up on bullish energy or will it come back up on bearish energy? That's the big question yet to be answered. Can we continue this party on the bullish side and continue to extend? Or is everybody getting uh, that's in the market or going to be getting in the market at this point in? Um, I would be really careful and cautious about chasing these indexes much higher because um, well, uh, do what you want to do. But uh, for me, um, I'm going to be waiting for the pullback before I um, make any decisions on picking up any long um, trades here in the market. Then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar on the day. Our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to here this morning. Um, we've got a bunch of Fed speak. We've got Barr speaking, well, already spoke here early today. We've got uh, Goolsby speaking. We're going to have Jerome Powell at one, Jerome Powell at two, and we're going to have Lisa Cook here at two o'clock. Um, this afternoon. So lots of Fed activity in here uh, today. And then we're going to hear um, uh, this morning, we're going to get PMI manufacturing numbers. More importantly, will be the ISM manufacturing numbers that are still expected in consen consensus to be below uh, 50 
which is still contra uh, contraction in our PMI numbers. We'll see if that um, has a surprise build to the upside. And then construction spending also will want to be watching. Consensus is looking for that to decline ever so slightly. So keep a close eye on those numbers today. On the earnings side of things, boy, we don't have a whole lot to worry about here today. There's really only one notable, but I'm going to give you both the reports um, uh, coming out today. We're going to hear from um, BMO, uh, Bank of Montreal, that's trying to move up here this morning, as you can see, trying to pop through a nice little platform um, bullish pattern here in the Bank of Montreal moving on up. So keep a close eye on that. Uh, trying to break on out here on BMO and last but not least and really the biggest notable uh, GCO uh, today reporting and that just went like a rocket ship yesterday and now it's pulling back just a little bit waiting for that report to come out it hasn't come out quite yet but watch that closely definitely in a bullish um, um, run to the upside any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity there in GCO let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who does continue to support the channel um, I, I do truly appreciate it um, means the world to me that there are that many folks um, that um, enjoy this content and, and get some use out of it so thank you very much let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market and particularly long right now, be very careful for the likelihood of some kind of long consolidation or protracted pullback as we absorb this um, giant run to the upside here in the market. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. First off, let's take a look at our TLT. TLT pulled back yesterday just a little bit. We did see uh, bonds rise up just a little bit yesterday. Our two-year bond is at 4.69. Um, so we're just getting a little bit of that lift back up here in bonds. And that's relieving some of that buy pressure here in TLT. So if this rests back and finds a support level here in the chart, wouldn't be a major surprise if that were the case. Just a little bit of resting um, in here and then we might look for that next opportunity. Clearly bonds running into a little, or the 20 year, running into some resistance here in the chart. Next opportunity in this trade might be the support level that we hold or a pop through and hold and then look for that next opportunity to add to that trade. I'm in this position and I did pick up some um, short on this as well, some covered calls on this. So I'm uh, nicely protected at the moment on uh, TLT. So keep an eye on that starting to come back around. Um, let's take a look um, at some other stocks out there. Take a look at Oracle. Oracle's been resting in this nice little consolidating pattern after breaking through some resistance here in the chart. I'd be looking for this to find that next area. And what I usually do on something like this, uh, just for everyone that um, is not a part of right way options, what I usually do is I place a price alert right about there. And what I, I really don't care if it moves up or moves down, it makes no difference to me. But since we have that um, bullishness showing up in the chart, I just want to be notified when this pops. And um, it was the, exactly the same way that I handled you know, like a stock like uh, McDonald's here. I place a price alert 
on that nice little rising pattern and wait for the trade. And there's a next opportunity right there for an entry and there's a next opportunity potential for entry coming right here on Mickey D's. So keep an eye on that Mickey D's breaking through resistance level showing all kinds of bullishness here. So there's every reason to believe that this could move on through and just continue to break these resistance levels in the chart moving on up. So keep an eye on that. You know, we see the same kind of thing when we look at 3M. 3M moving up in these patterns and you can place price alerts right here and just wait for the trade to come to you. Pushing on through this next resistance chart or area in 3M, any kind of rest up here sets up that next opportunity to the upside. Um, just watch it and um, let it repeat over and over and over to the upside. And you can see one of the benefits of doing that is you place a price alert, you're waiting for this to chop its way out toward a trend and find a way to move on through. And if it doesn't, and it breaks down, you're not in the trade, don't care. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, so watch that carefully. Um, that's a, a very simple way of just following trends and doing the simple thing um, in the market and it works very, very well. So let's take a look at some of these other stocks that have some interest here. SKLZ pulled back the last couple of days. We might be slipping this trend here just a little bit, but you can see in the pre-market, we're also starting to pick back up. So perhaps we might um, hold through, um, hold this support area in here and come back. I don't know that to be true yet. This could slip on down to this bigger area price support and just need more consolidation or rest after moving through. But you can see there's that same thing. Just wait for that stock to move its way over toward the trend and look for that pop out. This one's just didn't perform all that well uh, to the upside. And um, probably not a big surprise with the extension of the market. But keep an eye on those kind of trades and those kind of patterns. Now, with that said, let's take a look at FCX uh, Copper. Now, Copper um, holding that pattern in here where we broke the downtrend, we rallied through some resistance, we rested back in there. There you go. Um, um, that's moving up to the upside. Now, I would watch carefully in a lot of these stocks. There are um, places in these stocks that have significant price resistance levels above so you'll want to be keeping that in mind as we rally into there then it may stop and rest trying to break through that resistance level in the chart but keeping an, uh, an eye on that fcx is looking pretty good overall um, alcoa alcoa made that pop um, yesterday, just a little tiny bit and pulled back this morning, it's trying to push on through to the upside as some of those commodity prices try to move on up. You might want to take a look at um, uh, whoops, GDX. Um, these are the major miners here in the market. We're really um, strong here in this move this week, pushing up probably needs a little bit more rest in here at least it would for me needs a little bit more rest but this is a beautiful little bottoming pattern that we see here in the market so any kind of rest consolidation or pullback in here i think sets up the next opportunity in these miners now you can even go directly to the miners uh, take a look at like um uh, barry gold Barry Gold breaking through resistance. Any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. Um, Newmont Mining, whoops. Newmont Mining um, breaking through um, that downtrend, taking a little bit of a rest right now as we challenge this resistance. So a little bit of consolidation here, not out of the question, and then look for that opportunity that that may move on through to the upside. Another place is, um, um, GDXJ, the junior miners, very, very strong, pushing on through here to the upside. And, and you know, one of the great benefits of T21, or I mean TC2000, is just you click one link and you can start. I don't know what's happening here. Something's not working this morning, but you can go to um, a list 
of let's go back to GDX you can go to a list of things that make up the stock yeah we've got something going on in the pre-market here this isn't working quite well um, but trust me they'll be this will populate everything that makes up the those um, areas and um, then you can just go look at those and um, um, find stocks in a real easy way that are setting up and looking good. Let's take a look at um, some utilities in here. Utilities I've mentioned this week really making those moves coming up here in the chart and there's a lot of stocks in the utility sector looking pretty good. So if we can hold this support level in here just resting consolidating there's another opportunity to just place a price alert wait and see if that's going to pop on through to the upside. I do think it's worth keeping an eye on some of those right now um, in the market. Let's take a look at a couple other places here that could be of interest. Um, we have seen some pretty substantial uh, destruction here in Walmart and Walmart rallied back to a resistance level and then continuing to show failure. What I would be watching for here in Walmart, maybe a price alert in this area of the chart and I would be looking for that next opportunity of this falling through. We know that there's a consumer problem out here in the market and you can see this price support in here is pretty pretty strong but the weakness that we're starting to show here in Walmart look for that next opportunity to maybe start moving to the downside in the chart. If we take a look at some of the tech out there you know um, stocks like AMD really struggled yesterday pulling back but doesn't mean that this is bearish. It just means we need a rest in this parabolic move. Coming up here through this resistance, if we can hold up here and, and rest for a period of time, and it may take some time for this to rest out and um, be able to build you know, a reasonable trend instead of a straight up trend, some kind of reasonable trend, then I would look for those opportunities to come along after a fairly substantial rest in some of these. If we happen to break this support, then I would look for that more of a protracted pullback that would come back into a, a bigger area of support so we can begin to resume some kind of uptrend uh, to the upside. So keep an eye on those. Anytime we make these meteoric rise uh, rallies like we did right here, you can see that well, there's that really long protracted pullback, and that's very likely to be on the way in a lot of these big tech stocks, so be careful there. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here and listening today. I do appreciate it, supporting the channel. You guys are the best. Um, also, I want to wish you and your family a wonderful weekend. Be careful out there. Have a wonderful one, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wishing you all the very, very best.